What's up guys? John here with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey everybody. And we are back with another tight medical movie review just, just for, for you. you. So this week we got to see A Quiet Place Day One. So this was a follow-up sequel to the first two Quiet Places. And if you guys don't remember those, the first one had John Krasinski from The Office. And I was just explaining with Emily Blunt and two kids. At the end, he died in that first one. If you didn't watch it, sorry for the spoiler. And then in two, it was just her and the kids. This is way before all of that, because if you've seen the first one or the second one, you really don't know how it happened. How did they invade Earth? What's going on? Who are these aliens that are, you know, going after anything that makes a sound over a decimal of somewhat of 90 or whatever it was in the movie they said. Uh -huh. So at this point, this is supposed to tell the story of how they came. And, you know, I, I think the beginning was and pretty we good. we still don't know how they came. We don't know how they came. So, I'm not, yeah, it's only a spoiler for you. We don't know how they came. Still, at this point, we do know. Thank you for the prequel. We still have we no do, idea we do, we how do you know got how, here. how they hit Earth and kind of what they were doing when they first hit Earth, right? I guess. Same degree. thing they were doing in the other ones, running up and down the streets. Yeah, so, but you didn't see as many of them like you did this one in the first two. There was like one that popped out or maybe two or three. I'm talking about hundreds of these things. So it was like literally like stampeding like New York City and everything like that. So it was pretty cool. There's a lot of humans that showed what the human interaction was, I guess, in the beginning, because, you know, in the first two, there wasn't very much human interaction between those kids and Emily Blunt and John Krasinski with anybody else, right? right? So you kind of seen that. Um, you know, I, I thought that maybe they could have had the main character have a different story, I guess, to a certain degree, right? I mean, it was a little... I, I don't, I don't, I, I'm sorry, I don't really recall an actual story. In there the wasn't no story in the movie. So I asked years ago. There wasn't a story, it was a story about a cat running the streets of New York with a girl that wanted pizza. That had cancer. That, that's go. that's kind of what it was. That's what it was. It was. Yeah. It was. And Sorry to be the spoiler. They roamed the streets. I mean, there wasn't really a storyline. This is where they really fell short, in my opinion, because it really wasn't keeping me. It was just these two like walking around the city the whole time, and it wasn't a lot of action. No, suspense. they just because it's a quiet place, so they're not talking, right? So you have to, if you're gonna be in a movie like the the previous movies, at least like. I feel like things were actually happening, so you were kind of like still like in tuned. Yeah. But this one was just like they were in one place and then went to another place that were, was quiet, and yeah. then another quiet place, yeah. and then kept going to quiet places. Yeah. And it was just very quiet theater. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I think the, the movie could have been a lot better than what it was, right? I mean, they already had the basis of these first two movies. They could have really movie expanded on that. This movie sucked. Sucked. Detail. It sucked. Um, but yeah, I would have to get. Yeah, I'd have to definitely give this movie probably a one point seven. I'm gonna give it a, a one point one. It was that bad. 1.7, 1.1, was that what it was? I mean, can I go to like a 0 0.5? You can. Great, it's a 0 0.5. Yikes, just Re even lower. Re so at that point, listen, you heard it from us, go see it for yourselves. Um, that's Quiet Place Day One. We'll see you next time at the movies. <laughs>